one is golden arm. Silver Spear. What's up Maniacs, welcome to the Statue Matinee. Today I'll be reviewing this awesome piece of fan art called the Fastball Special. So chill out, grab a brewski, a latte, a cafe, some yayo, whatever you're in the mood for man, and uh, watch my review. So here we go guys, we're going to be reviewing this statue. We just got it in, just came in this year, it's been uh, two and a half years or three years I believe in uh, working on this project and believe me I was like waiting for this thing man anxious nervous how it was gonna come out and um, it has met all my expectations as a fan of the X-Men as a fan of this hobby this piece is like phenomenal now the fastball special was first introduced or hint or talked about in X-Men 94 which uh, they were, the X-Men were in the danger room and uh, I believe they were going through their maneuvers and uh, Cyclops called this maneuver number seven where he grabs Wolverine and throws him at uh, you know the bad guy, whatever was in the danger room they were fighting, I think this was the Sentinels. But in issue 100, which I have right here, fresh from the vault, is where you actually see the fastball special. Now, as you can see, this is not in a slab. This is first printing. I don't like slabs. Being an OG comic collector, I do not feel like that's, um, you know, I want to get my hands on the comic. I want to smell the money, the freshness of that paper in there. You know what I mean? Um, people like slabs. I don't like slab because I want to touch this. I want to open this. I opened this put it back in here, but I'll skim through it to find out. It's been 30 years since I've read this, so I'm, I went through it just to look for um, like what the topic was, what the, what the story was basically about. It's basically just the old team against the new team. They're off planet in orbit and they're fighting against each other. You got the old team Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman, Angel, and uh, Beast against uh, the new team. Uh, which started in issue 94, Colossus, Storm, Warpath, Banshee, Wolverine, and then <laughs> Warpath gets it, I think in a couple issues. But, spoiler, whatever. So it's in X-Men X Men 100 is where you actually see the fastball special being initiated. So, woof. so what are we gonna say about this statue? 
it is marvelous, baby, just marvelous. This is an awesome sculpt of representation of the fastball special. The sculptor, the uh, producer, the factory, uh, I gotta congrats everybody who was involved in making this statue come to life. There is uh, nothing out there that I've seen that can come close to this, you know what I mean? I mean, you look at all the statues, XM does great, uh, Sideshow does great, Prime One does great, but for a piece of fan art, this is way beyond what is expected. I mean, the engineering, the, the sculpt, everything came out perfect, in my opinion. Because you know, opinions are like assholes, everybody has them. I'm just telling you what I feel when I handle this thing and put it together and everything just came together like, uh, like the Phoenix Force, just coming together, you know what I mean? So, the sculpt is right on point. The sculptor did an amazing job. Uh, the anatomy for Colossus and Wolverine is spectacular. This is a one quarter uh, deal. So it is big. If you saw my unboxing, you know the hand is like a big ass uh, king crab. It's like this big and it's heavy. And that's the hand that goes on top of the base, which is also heavy. It feels like it's made out of freaking granite. That's how heavy this thing is. You know what I mean? I had my little helper helping me out, my son, and he like was like, what the hell is this shit, daddy? This is the heaviest thing you ever had. But that's just how heavy it is. Um, so back to the sculpt. I, I love everything about this. It's like a, a comic page coming to life. You know, here, right here, physically, you can touch this. Um, it's better than the comic. And it's better than watching the cartoon, you know, the 1990s cartoon when we saw the animation, you know. Uh, this is like it right here. You can touch it, man. So that is awesome. The design of it is, uh, you know, it's the fastball special. You know, the sculptor probably looked at many uh, views of this. And this is pretty much what it looks like in the comic book. Um, except there's a couple where he's like actually like throwing it. So, uh, but this is pretty accurate to what it, what it represents. Um, that's, the, the paint app on this is fantastic. When I was opening up the box, that's what I was hee-hoing about, was the paint app, the texture on the suit, the, um, the shading on the suit, the, the, you can see like over here on Wolverine, on Wolverine with the shading to give you the separation of the, of the muscles and stuff like that. Um, nice details are the, you know, the, the boots on both uh, Colossus and Wolverine. They're like uh, that, those Buccaneer boots, which were like big in uh, the 80s with characters. Everybody had freaking Buccaneer boots. I don't know what the fuck was that about, but it was there, you know what I mean? The uh, Wolverine's original yellow suit, you know, the tiger suit, because he has like those tiger stripes over here, that came out perfect. His elongated uh, mask on top, that came out perfect. He has real metal claws. Those came out perfect. I actually got scratched by that motherfucker. So that is, is phenomenal. Um, the way it's positioned here, it's anchored onto his shoulder, and I believe it has a it has like a little magnet over here. So it's doubly secured, and it was no problem putting Wolverine on the shoulder. No problem anchoring the arms. No problem positioning him on the, the Sentinel. The Sentinel comes with, uh, does have two, uh, two pieces. It has like an extra uh, finger on this side. And then there's um, this piece over here, which clamps on. Um, I'm just mesmerized by this whole piece. There's really nothing bad about it. There's nothing I can say that's, go that's like, oh, this is shit or whatever. This piece just came all together. Three boxes, each one had um, one had the base, one had the hand, and the other one had the, the two figures. Um, the figures do come with, uh, Cyclops, uh, Colossus comes with a hand that has a grimace on it, right? And then it has a head, another head, not hand, head, that has a straight face. But you know, he's in battle. Damn, I didn't wear my gloves again, fuck. 
he's in battle and um, you know he's not gonna be like you know he's gonna have like what the fuck is we get you so we're gonna have a grimace you know like he's taking a shit and then the Wolverine head over here um, there's a it's basically him also grimacing like the yelling like ah, ah, you know what I mean so that's how I'm going to display him because he's in battle, you know what I mean? There's also a unmasked portrait with his crazy hair, but uh, I feel this one better. Uh, so that's how it's going to stay. And it's going to stay here all the time. Okay, and it, it fits perfectly. The seams are like awesome. I can't even tell there are seams, you know what I mean? Unless I'm like doing this shit, you know what I mean? But I can't even tell there are seams on this, on this guy. The, the way his hand is, his, 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 his arms are, are, are huge. You know, the un, if you saw the my unboxing, again, uh, you can see that the hand is like, you know, like, ah, it's a freaking big ass hand. But uh, this is an awesome, awesome statue. Um, I'm gonna do some videos and I'm gonna put some, post some pictures up with this together so you guys can actually see the detailing on it. So, it's gonna be at the end of this video and I'll post some pictures so you can see more detailing and uh, it's just amazing this piece I don't want to prolong this video uh, maybe like in a year from now after I absorbed all this fantastical uh, art right here I will do another video and really dissect into it but as far as like a quick review uh, I'm at, I'm at a loss for words. I really can't even like give it a, 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 um, a rating from 1 to 10 or whatever other ratings they're using out there. But if this was, you know, like a Nadia Comaneci in the, in the Olympics, I would give it a 10. You know what I mean? That's how good this is. But you know, this is me. I like the X-Men, man. This is what I started with back in the day. I started with the X-Men. So, I, you know, I'm really feeling this statue. And uh, that's the way I'm gonna roll. But I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. If you can get this in the aftermarket, do so. Do so, because you will not be disappointed. You know, and if you missed out, then, you know, there's always next time, bro. You know, shit is popping out everywhere. Fan art is getting better and better, or it is already better, you know, by this piece. This should be the fan art of the year, in my opinion, because this thing is, is amazing man and there's some good pieces out there but this piece stands out it has presence so let me know if you like this or not or how can i can improve on uh, on reviews you know it's my first time doing this not the first time but you know i'm just getting used to it i'm not gonna edit because i don't know how to fucking edit so i'm just gonna put this out there and uh, i'm gonna put throw some videos in there because that's easy to do but uh i don't really not too uh you know good with the editing part so thanks a lot for joining me hope you like this man because i love this shit this is like the bee's knees the shit on a stick get it <laughs> all right guys peace thumbs up for this one
the mastermind.